Hello, I'm Johnny Matter. Welcome to my show, 1000 Hertz. Cheers. Drinking a Parkside Pilsner Dawn from Port Moody. Um, yeah, so I uh, had an eventful weekend. Did the record show, Matterhorn Records was down at uh, the record show at the Vancouver Flea Market on Sunday. Um, had a great event, uh, a lot, pretty good turnout. A lot of people came out. Um, a couple friends were vendors there too. Got to hang out, catch up with them. A bunch of friends stopped by. Yeah, it was a blast. Um, I love doing these things. Obviously, uh, just talking records with people, sharing stories, and uh, you know, um, having some fun. So yeah, it was good. And not only did I sell a bunch of records, but I also got some cool stuff. And uh, we'll go through that tonight. So uh, what we're listening to tonight is uh, actually a record my girlfriend picked up for our Tiki Bar downstairs. It's uh, author Lehman's Greatest Hits, Lyman's Greatest Hits, sorry. Um, and uh, yeah, it's kind of like a Martin Danny kind of sounding thing. And uh, that's what we're uh, playing tonight. So got that on the roll. Um, got a couple seven inches. Um, some some strange and hard to come by stuff from some friends. Uh, first here we got a 1991 U.S. pressing of uh, Bad Religion uh, with uh, Noam Kromsky. It's a Maximum Rock and Roll Presents release, and uh, I just thought it was really cool. I've never heard it before. I've never seen it before, and uh, yeah, uh, Bad Religion with Noam Kromsky. Uh, um, so uh, great minds collide on this one and I look forward to checking it out. Um, other seven inches I got picked up was uh, this uh, rare first edition um, uh, Murder City Devils on uh, Sub Pop 1997. Really cool, limited edition, do 3,000 copies. Uh, so that was a nice find for a good price. Pick that up. Um, I like the Mercy Devils and their stuff. Um, also, what I didn't find, what I did end up finding was uh, Butthole Server 7-inch, uh, 1990 off Rough Trade. Um, the Hurdy Gurdy Man. <laughs> Pretty cool. Um, and it's a limited edition as well with on this uh, cool, cool yellow vinyl pretty awesome so stoked to find that i love the butthole surfers and i can't wait for that documentary they're putting together coming out soon hopefully um, um i also found this i used to own this so it's nice to get back into my collection again uh it's a william s burroughs breakthrough in the green and the gray room uh, 2013 sub rosa release uh belgium um, label um, yeah just uh, really uh, bizarre spoken word and cut up tapes uh, work that um, William S. Burrow has done and I'm a big fan of Burroughs I got a lot of his books and uh, it's nice to have that back in my collection um, also what I found for a good deal was uh, two brand new copies of this Poison Idea record that came out in 2006 now, I'm not too familiar with this one, but I do love Poison Idea. Um, so I got, I picked them both up for a really good price. They were both sealed. One was a red vinyl and one was, uh, I guess, a normal black one. So I'll put that one in the shop and uh, for sale. And this one was this cool red splatter. Um, I'll just show you there. Pretty awesome stuff. Um, and yeah, you know, I gave it a spin uh, when I got home from work today, and I really dig it. You know, it's pretty good stuff. You know, uh, I didn't know, I didn't know what to expect from that, but uh, I was really surprised. It was good. Um, so also, what I found it was a bunch of stuff I actually already own uh, by a band who I love, and I have a lot, almost all of their stuff I can find. Uh, so this is all doubles. I'll probably put in the shop. Um, uh, it was a band called Swans, and if you're not familiar with Swans, check them out. Uh, this is 2010 OG, My Father Will Guide Me Up to Rope to the Sky. Swans, one of my all-time favorite bands, um, and just amazing live. Um, if you do get the 
check them out. Uh, please do, like, uh, you know, all time, all time great, great live band acts I've ever seen. Um, also, what I found with Swans was uh, this year, 2012. This year, this is a great album. Um, one of my favorites by them. And so I'll throw that into this Matterhorn shop. As well was this 2017 reissue of The Great Annihilator. Now, now this is an excellent album by them too. If you're not familiar with them, this is a good starting point. Um, same with this year. Um, so if you're looking to get into Swans, I would start with those albums. They're pretty good. Um, and also what I got by them was um, Die Du is Zoo, sorry, it's German. <laughs> Pronounced my, uh, uh, excuse my German. This is 2018, it's a bunch of live stuff. I already have this, this is probably gonna go in the shop. Currently I've been buying things I already own to put into the Matterhorn store. It's just bands and music I'm passionate about. Um, so, you know, if people ask, I can, I'm familiar with it, I can explain to them what it sounds like and uh, yeah, just support the artists I, I really admire. Um, so, yeah, that's um, what I've been doing with the shop lately. And I also found this uh, for a really good price and in a really good shape. It's uh, uh, rap music for the rap people. Um, great comp, punk comp. It's got Dead Kennedys, DOA, Circle Jerks, Flipper, Avengers, Black Flag, Blad Brains, TSOL, Crucif Crucifix, and Dills. What an all-star lineup. And I gave this a spin and was really uh, impressed. Um, you know, uh, some live stuff on there. But, you know, mint shit, like really good shape. This is a 1982 release. Um, and I got it for like a really good price. So, didn't have that. That's going into the vault of my collection. Um, I love that era of punk rock. Speaking of punk rock, we did end up, I did end up getting a box set at the show. Um, and it was, uh, this now it's the first six records box set by Discord Records came out a little while ago and uh, I never had one until this month and then I bought another one Hoppa Guy off Marketplace so now I have two and they're both sealed <laughs> and you know with these things you keep them sealed obviously they're worth more down the road um, but being a fan of the music first and foremost I really want to listen to the ones so. <laughs> Uh, when I seen the opportunity to get another one for a good price, I bought it. And uh, now I can keep one sealed in my collection and open up one and enjoy one to listen to. So what we're gonna do here is pop one open. And we're gonna pop this one open. And uh, give me a chance, if you haven't seen it yet, I'm sure other people have already opened these up on YouTube channels, but uh, we're gonna crack one open and see what it looks like. Uh, so what it, it has it's like the first six seven inches they ever put out and I heard there's a seventh one but we'll see um, so it's got the slinkies the teen idols state state of alert minor threat seven inch the government issue seven inch minor threat seven inch youth brigade and yeah um, I I don't know how many of these were printed but it was you know, by pre-order, so um, probably not a whole lot. Um, anyways, I'm gonna turn the camera down, hopefully get a good angle, and you guys can see what's going on here. So, this is gonna be fun. Um, never done a box opening on the show, this is the first one, and it's a nice one to open. You don't even need the knife, look at that, it's ripped right open. Okay, number six. That there. That. All right. Got Discord. See the light. Let's check this out. All right. So that for six records. All right. Looks like a booklet of sorts. Oh yeah. Some nice, nice photographs from back in the day. 
<laughs> Henry Rollins there. Ian McKay. Drinking some Dunkin' Donuts. Coffee. Ah, there's like the originals. Got some images of the originals. Um, a message from Discord. Ah, some old liner notes and that's cool. Uh, yeah, <laughs> hard at work. <laughs> and yeah, some old, old show flyers on the walls and oh, that's great. And I guess that's the Discord house right there. Um, so that's cool. That looks dope. Um, what else we got here? Teen Idols. Minor Disservice EP. Oh, look at that. Straight Edge with the axes. All right. Okay, cool. It's got, uh, each one's got, this is a black vinyl, it looks like. Yeah, nice. Yeah, black vinyl. And it's got a little poster or something in there. Oh, sweet. Look at that. Fold out with the lyrics. Pretty nice. Excited to throw this on. Um, you know. Okay, I'll put that back together later. S O A. No policy EP. Nice. Similar thing. This label. This looks like. Oh, it's a colored, colored uh, blue vinyl. Aqua. And it's also got a lyric sheet. Nice. Read like that scribble. Sing along. Pretty cool. Oh, the classic. Minor Threat. This is a black vinyl. And another little fold out. It's got the lyrics. Cleanly written on there, of course, with the boys. Pretty awesome. Um, next, we got Government Issue. Like this ball EP. Sheet, couple photos, that's all right. Nice. And next, we got another minor threat in my eyes. Love that photo of Ian there. And, uh, ooh, this one's a colored vinyl. Nice red there. And the lyric sheet seems like this, similar as the other ones. Uh, it's more like a poster with the, the lyrics in there in the bottom. Some pretty good footage of the guys. Okay. All right, Youth Brigade. Welcome. Possible EP. This black vinyl and the poster inside. Rip Youth Brigade, love it. Look at that, all the lyrics. Oh, bringing me back, 
bringing me back. And then, oh yeah, we got the slinky. So I think this is the seventh one they added. Um, the slinkies, <laughs> kind of a... And let's see that. Oh, it's got the Captain Crunch guy on there. <laughs> Oh, Ian McKay looks real young there. Looks super young. Some old, some old footage. And a little write up about, this, you know, the beginning of all this. Um, so, pretty cool. Um, Look forward to uh, digging in that one night over a few beers. And, uh, yeah. Anyways, um, that is that. Appreciate uh, you guys tuning in and stuff. Uh, you know, I'm still new at this. If, you, if there's something you want to see, leave a message in the comments section. Let me know. Um, what's something you're stoked on. Uh, record store day is coming up. Saturday. I'm not a huge record store day guy, um, but I might I might pop by my local stop shop and uh, you know see what's up. Maybe pick up a few things. Um, either way, I usually do a video Friday. I'll probably be posting one Saturday or Sunday. Um, maybe about what I picked up this week and at record store day. But anyways, hope you guys have the enjoy the rest of your week and have. A great night. Peace.